Chapter 5 Threats, Crimes and Safety in Computing Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Understand about cyber safety Recognize types of cyber threat Know the ill effects of cyber bullying Overcome cyber bullying, trolling Warm up Which of the following do you think is right? Put a tick in the right one and cross in the wrong ones. 1. Raman has seen Aman's Facebook password and is checking Aman's Facebook. 2. Soumya has recorded the song in a movie hall using her mobile phone. 3. Rahul is writing a book and included a poem written by some author by taking his permission. 4. Nareen has downloaded the presentation from the net and submitted to his teaching by writing his own name. 5. Sanchit has downloaded software from the Microsoft site for creating presentation. Teachers note. Make note of the student's answer and make them understand the statement with reason. Hello friends, let's learn about cyber threats and how to be safe in computing. The most amazing developments in humankind's history have been brought about by technological advances. One of the most important inventions and technologies of the 20th century is the Internet. It has grown to be an essential part of our daily life. It serves as a priceless source of information for contemporary society and a tool that takes a variety of jobs easier for us to complete. The functions and purposes of the Internet are becoming more complex and varied at its scope and dimension expand and multiply. It has grown more difficult to maintain the security of sensitive data and stop internet abuse as a result of this expansion of purpose, scope and user base. We will learn about the numerous online threats in this chapter as well as how to protect ourselves from potential dangers and crimes since students and young people are typically the targets of these dangers and crimes. It is crucial that have adequate information and comprehension of the cyber environment. Remember it. It has been estimated that there will be over 6 billion internet users by 2022. Cyber Safety We must protect ourselves against all types of cyber malice because the internet is full of risk. This is accomplished by making sure that online available personal data is secure and safe. Staying safe and secure online is considered cyber safety. It deals with safeguards to keep sensitive data safe from manipulation or used for unauthorized action that are thought up and carried out by hackers. Safety Browsing the Web Safe Internet Browsing is the first step in cyber safety. For safe browsing on the internet, we must do the following. Update and Software we should update other programs like antivirus software, reset security settings and browser plugs in before we start browsing the web. When they identify us visiting a harmful website or potential being exposed to malicious content, the majority of web browsers will display warnings. It is appropriate and strongly advised that we heed the browser's warning in order to eliminate any potential threats. Let me answer. Does your computer or laptop have antivirus installed in it? Cautions Online Behavior Use secure and distinctive passwords. Only download software and tools from reliable websites. Before clicking on links in emails, chat or social media postings, pause and consider your next move. Offers that look too good to be true should be avoided. Avoid visiting websites that request your personal or banking information in exchange for cash or free buys. These are spams. Types of cyber threats Phishing Phishing is the sending of emails to trick a recipient into handing over money or sensitive personal information like their bank account details or a username and password. Once we enter personal information, the critical ones, we enter personal information. The hacker's database stores the crucial information, either momentarily and permanently, where they can use it to get unauthorized access to our social media accounts, bank accounts and other accounts. 
Trojans. Trojans are viruses that replicate themselves automatically and take advantage of security flaws in computer system. Trojans do not affect to pre-existing programs or change files. In contrast to many viruses, they usually go unreported until replication scales to the point that important system settings are altered. Juice jacking. It is a cyber attack which uses charging ports. The hacker implants malware in this that has the ability to stealthily copy private information from our phones. It is advised that we stay away from charging stations in public spaces like malls, restaurants and train stations. Cyber bullying the act of harassing a person through electronic media is known as cyberbullying. In this case, the attacker used intimidating messages to attempt to corner the victim. Do you know? Instagram is the social media site where most young people report experiencing cyberbullying. Cyber stalking Stalking is the recurrent practice of unwanting monitoring of harassment with the intent to manipulate or influence the victim. Online and offline stalking are both against the law. Impersonation The act of pretending to be someone you are not. The attempt to obtain our personal information by posing as someone else. And then hacker utilize this information against us. This is referred to as impersonating act. Flaming, it refers to sending hatred or rage message electronically. Outing, an act of revealing other people's secret or image without their consent. Third effects of cyberbullying, anxious thoughts, depression, being absent from class, significant decreases in children's grade or test scores. Lack of involvement and enthusiasm in class activities. Experiencing loneliness. Lack of confidence. How to overcome cyberbullying and trolling. Don't abandon the proof. Until instructed by your parents or teacher wait to answer. Don't simply follow your friend's recommendation. Instead, seek elders' counsels. Block the individual and report the message. Use social networking platforms only after reaching the recommended age. Never engaging in online bullying. Some useful links to counter cyberbullying. www.cyberbullying.org The world's first website about cyberbullying. www.bullyingawarenessweek.org The official website of the annual Bullying Awareness Week. Identity theft. It is an act of obtaining someone's personal or financial information and pretending to be someone else. We must be very careful about sharing our personal information on the internet like contact number, home address, passwords, OPTs, bank account details, our ID proof numbers like Aadhaar number, driving license number, voter ID card number, PAN number, etc. Most common identity theft are credit card information, bank account details, personal identification, password spoofing. Protecting your password. It is important that we must ensure that our passwords and secret pins are not stolen. To protect our password and pin is the best way follow this step. Have alphanumeric password with special symbols. Have password which look random but are logical for you. Better the mix of the alphanumeric values. Better is the password. Never use your personal detail like date of birth, your pet name, your vehicle number, etc. as password. Use the two-step verification on for different sites. Never share your password with anyone and keep changing it after certain intervals. Do not keep the same password for all your accounts on the internet. Use SUPR criteria. A password should be strong, unique, practical and recent. Keep checking the transaction history at regular intervals. You can report cybercrime at the national website www.cybercrime.government.n Games Addiction Teenagers enjoy playing video games and many of them eventually even develop a dependence on them. 
Teenagers became addicted to a number of games due to immersive technologies and appealing images, audios and designs. Games like Blue Whale, Pokemon Go, PUBG and others that have an immersive nature and an effect on kids' psychs and risks. Let me answer. Do you play any of the above games? If yes, then why? Third effects of accessing games. Interference with studies. Exposure to violent content. Financial concerns. Many apps have hidden charges or subscription fees which get automatically charged, renewed the spending money in unnecessary things. Losing friends in real life due to anger, isolation, depression, etc. Repetitive strain, injury, RSI, poor posture, headache, lack of physical activity, poor nutrition or self-care. Poor quality of sleep. Tips to avoid bad gaming habits in children. Playing outdoor games with friends. Taking a family trip to historical or cultural sites. Putting yourself on regular digital detox. Enhancing emotional intelligence and self-awareness. Engaging in charitable work or volunteering activities. Online challenges and pranks. Some prevalent online challenges expose student life in danger. There are several insane challenges on the internet which are affecting children's mind and health. Children who do not marathon gaming are victims of anxiety, a placed sense of control, loneliness and more violence. Gaming over the internet should be avoided as it may lead to different types of psychological disorders. Cyber Laws The Constitution of India contains many regulations that address cyber crimes. The main law governing cyber crime and electronic computer is the Information Technology Act 2000. often known as ITA 2000 or the IT Act this act had a considerable revision in 2008 it created section 66a which makes sending offensive text illegal additionally section 69 was created giving authorities the power to intercept or monitor any message received from any computer get psych you Ragini has been receiving some hate messages on the social media websites. Being her friend, what would you suggest to her? Let's recall one of the most important inventions and in technologies of the 20th century is the internet. We must protect ourselves against all type of cyber malice because the internet is full of risk. Staying safe and secure online is considered cyber safety. The act of harassing a person through electronic media is known as cyberbullying. Outing is an act of revealing other people's secret or images without their consent. The main law governing cyber crime and electronic computer is the Information Technology Act 2000, often known as IT Act 2000 or the IT Act. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. Staying safe and secure online is considered dash. Answer: Cyber safety. Two. We should update program like dash software. Answer: Antivirus. Three. Dash is the sending of emails to trick a recipient. Answer: Phishing. Four. Dash are viruses that replicate themselves automatically. Answer: Trojans. Five. Dash is a cyber attack which uses charging ports. Answer: Juice jacking. B. Answer in one word. One. The act of harassing a person through electronic media. Answer: Cyber bullying. Two. The recurrent practice of unwanted monitoring. Answer: Cyber stalking. Three. The act of pretending to be someone you are not. Answer: Impersonation. 4 sending hated or rage messages electronically answer flaming 5 the main law governing cyber crime answer information technology act 2000 c answer the following question 1 what is cyber safety answer Staying safe and secure online is considered cyber safety. This is accomplished by making sure that online available personal data is secure and safe.
Two, how can we do safe internet browsing? Answer, for safe browsing on the internet, we must do the following. One, we should update programs like antivirus software and reset security settings. Two, use secure and distinctive passwords. Three, only download software and tools from reliable website. Four, we should be cautious before clicking on links and emails, chat and social media postings. Three, explain any two types of cyber threats. Answer, two types of cyber threats. Phishing. It is the sending of emails to trick a recipient into handling over money or sensitive personal information like their bank account details or a username and password. Flaming It refers to sending haters or rage messages electronically. 4. Write all effects of cyberbullying. Answer All effects of cyberbullying 1. Anxious thoughts 2. Depression 3. Being absent from class 4. Experiencing loneliness 5. Lack of confidence 5. Write the tips to avoid bad gaming habits in children Answer Tips to avoid bad gaming habits in children 1. Playing outdoor games with friends 2. Taking a family trip to historical or cultural sites 3. Putting yourself on a regular digital detox 4. Enhancing emotional intelligence and self-awareness 5. Engaging in charitable work or volunteering activities Critical Thinking Saksham was receiving online threats. Help him to overcome cyberbullying and trolling. Answer. Ask students to do it by themselves. Team. Work. Work in pairs. Create a poster to make everyone aware about cyber security. Answer. Ask students to do it by themselves.